Welcome to another very exciting audio experience presented by Hello AI. Today we explore the teachings of Takuen Soho and his book, The Unfettered Mind. Takuen was a Japanese samurai and Buddhist monk in the 16th century. His book, which was written about 400 years ago, offers timeless insights into the power of the mind and we will unravel how to apply those teachings in the world of business. Takuen's book is based on the idea that the mind is like a lake and that it can be shaped and molded by the thoughts, feelings, and actions of the individual. He believed that when the mind is clear and unfettered, it can lead to greater clarity of thought and thus greater success in business. One of the main teachings of Takuen is the idea of non-attachment. He believed that when one is not attached to the outcome of a situation, it allows them to remain open to all possibilities. This helps to foster greater creativity and innovation, which are essential elements of success in business. Another teaching of Takuen is that of non-judgment. He argued that it is often more powerful to simply observe a situation without judgment than to form an opinion or make a decision. By doing this, it can help to keep the mind open to all possibilities, which can lead to better decisions and better outcomes. Finally, Takuen also emphasized the importance of humility. He believed that by remaining humble, one can remain open to learning and growth. This can help to foster a more positive work environment and can lead to greater success in business. The Sword of No Mind Chapter 1 of The Unfettered Mind by Takuen So focuses on the importance of clarity of mind and the power that comes with it. Takuen Soho argues that clarity is the basis of all wisdom, and it can be achieved through zazen, meditation, and the practice of martial arts. He states that when one is able to clear their mind, they are able to see things from a different perspective, allowing them to make decisions with more clarity and insight. Takuen Soho also discusses the concept of no mind, which is the state of being free from the constraints of one's own thoughts and preconceptions. He emphasizes the importance of being able to detach oneself from one's own thoughts and feelings, allowing one to achieve clarity of mind. He also discusses the importance of training the mind to detach itself from preconceived notions and expectations. He explains that in order to gain a true understanding of the world, one must be open to new ideas, experiences, and perspectives. He also stresses the importance of letting go of any attachment to preconceived notions or expectations, and of instead embracing an unbiased and open-minded approach to life. In business, these principles can be applied in order to help executives and entrepreneurs make better decisions. By cultivating a no-mind state of mind, executives can free themselves from the limitations of their own thoughts and preconceptions, allowing them to think more objectively and make decisions with greater clarity. Additionally, practicing Zazen and martial arts can help to clear the mind and improve concentration and focus, allowing executives to make better decisions with greater insight. Ultimately, the principles discussed in this chapter of the unfettered mind can help executives and entrepreneurs make better decisions with greater clarity and insight. The Art of Living A Zen Mind In this chapter, Takuen Soho emphasizes the importance of living in the present moment and of being mindful of one's thoughts and actions. He explains that living in the present moment and being mindful of our thoughts and actions can help us to be more aware and mindful of our surroundings and of our relationship with the world. Mindful Meditation The Practice of No Mind In this chapter, Takuen Soho explains the importance of meditation in cultivating an open and flexible mind. He explains that by practicing mindful meditation, one can become more aware of their thoughts and feelings and can learn to let go of any preconceived notions or expectations. He also stresses the importance of cultivating an attitude of non-judgment and non-attachment and of allowing oneself to be open to whatever arises without any preconceived notions. Not Knowing 
which is the idea that one should remain open to all possibilities and not rely on prior knowledge and assumptions. Soho explains that the practice of not knowing involves allowing oneself to be guided by the spirit of inquiry and not by preconceived notions of what is right or wrong. He also cites Zen master Shoyu's teachings on the importance of being unattached to one's own knowledge and experiences. In terms of how this concept can be applied to business, not knowing encourages business owners and leaders to be open to all new ideas and possibilities and to remain flexible and agile in their decision-making. It emphasizes the importance of staying humble and not becoming too attached to one's own knowledge and experience. This encourages employees to challenge the status quo, take risks, and think critically about the decisions they make. Not knowing also encourages leaders to remain open to feedback and criticism from their team members, as well as from external sources such as customers and partners. This allows for more collaboration and creativity, and encourages innovation within the organization. It also helps to foster an environment where everyone feels comfortable voicing their opinion and sharing their ideas. Overall, not knowing is an important concept for business owners and leaders to understand, as it can help to create a culture of collaboration, creativity, and innovation. It encourages leaders to stay humble and remain open to all possibilities, and to be flexible and agile in their decision-making. Not knowing can also help to foster an environment where everyone feels comfortable contributing and sharing their ideas, which can lead to more successful and innovative business practices. So, in conclusion, the teachings of Takuin Soho and the unfettered mind can be very useful for anyone looking to succeed in the world of business. By remaining open to all possibilities, remaining non-judgmental, and remaining humble, one can foster a more creative, innovative, and successful business environment. We hope this video has provided you with some useful insights and that you will consider incorporating the teachings of Takuin Soho into your own business endeavors. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.